everybody. Welcome back to the weekly show. So good to be here with all of you today. Uh, this week, we're going to be focused on medical school admissions and primarily for college students who are plan on applying to medical school in the United States or outside the United States. Uh, this show is going to be focused on a fantastic topic that even those of you listening in high school, if you're, if you're interested in going to an accelerated medical program, I work with many of my high school students uh, helping, who really have ambitions to go to combined programs, seven-year, eight-year programs, and uh, this can be a great topic for you as well. And most of my, all of my college students I work with are always looking for ways to show colleges their best trait, to show medical schools their best traits, to show how they have distinguished themselves, how they're ready for medical school, how they are aligned with the mission of medical schools today. And the topic we're gonna to focus on today that can be a great advantage when applying to medical school is epidemiology. Epidemiology has become a very prominent topic since the COVID-19 pandemic that hit our society about five years ago. Uh, epidemiology is a study of how diseases spread, okay, and who they affect and how to prevent their spread and how to prevent them, viruses, uh, from occurring in the first place. So a, uh, a, someone who works in epidemiology would be a scientist, a researcher uh, who's invested in public health, who can be working for the CDC, the Center of Disease Control, the World Health Organization, WHO. They are focused on uh, public health, preventing widespread uh, viruses, because in the end, although we, are, we live in a world of nation states, with borders, we all are interconnected more and more today, especially with frequent travel. Bill Gates in 2015 issued the world a warning and said we, he didn't feel the world was equipped for a pandemic that could come. He said with international travel, uh, the likelihood of, of disease, of viruses spreading quicker was very high and he turned out to be right. And his, his warning was not heeded. And, uh, epidemiologists and, uh, is, are people that study such matters. Epidemiology is a study of, again, viruses, how they spread. Epidemiologists uh, really dedicate their lives to public health in this regard. But it is a great topic for college students to show medical schools they are interested in. And it is a great thing for you to be interested in as a future physician uh, and because you will see the larger context under which you are operating as a physician. Uh, and for those of you who want to be physicians that want to be involved in, in the front lines of not just practicing, but also research, epidemiology is a fantastic field. Um, and it is a fantastic field, again, for you to show medical schools that you've taken an interest in, you've taken steps in to uh, learn more about and get involved with. For those of you in college, you could take epidemiology courses, some many colleges offer. You can join research projects in college that have to do with, with epidemiology. You can, in, you can, one of my students who got into medical school very early, she got a, an internship with the CDC or the local health department, uh, with the CDC in, and she also interned with the local health department. And this was a great way for her to show her interest in epidemiology and just her concern for public health, her knowledge about public health that she would enter medical school with. And uh, she ended up uh, going to Tufts Medical School and uh, really is, is, it was a fantastic thing, okay? And the great thing about epidemiology, what it shows a university, a medical school, and it even shows colleges if you're a high school student applying, applying to accelerated programs is that you understand that medicine is super interdisciplinary, especially these days. Epidemiology combines biology, statistics, social sciences, all of these things together. You're not operating in the medical bubble. Epidemiologists, they work at local health organizations, as I mentioned, international health organizations, rather. Uh, I mentioned WHO. Even many of my college students have been interested, have expressed in their medical essays a desire to work with Doctors Without Borders. Uh, doctors Without Borders, it's a, it's a organization that sends doctors overseas to more poor areas to help out with medical conditions. Uh, and they send, Doctors Without Borders sends epidemiologists to study and contain diseases outbreaks worldwide. Pretty fascinating. 
what uh, Doctor, Doctors Without Borders does. And AI, uh, I want to talk about another way epidemiology is combined with other fields is artificial intelligence and data science. They're constantly used in epidemiology to study and contain disease outbreaks. So when you are in high school or you're in college thinking about applying to medical school, if you can get involved with projects or in your classes or do your own private research and publish it about how artificial intelligence and technology can be used to uh, study epidemiology, to study the spread of diseases, you will have a leg up and impress medical schools very much because you're seeing the big picture of medicine and medical schools see themselves as not just training future doctors, but on the forefront, but being interwoven with, the, with social change, being at the forefront with top universities um, and, and their own universities with, with social change and improvement, okay? So uh, when you can highlight epidemiology it, and you can show, you talk about data, it can show, it's not just showing what you know, it's also showing uh, your ability to, you, to show analytical thinking, uh, your social awareness, and also your just your curiosity that you want to learn more about the world and you have a uh, big picture mentality. It definitely can show traits that all educators, medical schools, top universities look for in students. Not students who are know-it-alls, but I don't know-it-alls, who know there's more to learn that want to learn more, okay? And medical schools, every student of mine that's gone to top medical schools fits the trend that I've always known the medical schools love students who understand the, the, the who understand and value individual patient care and large scale health trends. They're, they're, they they operate with this dualistic sense uh, and this dualistic perspective. And medical schools highly value students who come in with with a with a running start uh, in that mentality. Okay, so. You can explore epidemiology, as I mentioned, through courses in college, even online courses, research programs. If you're a high school student, summer research programs. If you're a college student, also summer research programs at universities, labs. Um, and if you, even, if even better, if you're very interested in epidemiology, you can major in public health and specialize in epidemiology and still get your pre-med credits in to apply to medical school if public health is something that greatly interests you and you want to take even more classes on it. Some of the universities like Johns Hopkins, Stanford Medical School, Harvard, they look for, these medical schools and colleges, by the way, look for students with an interest in public health and epidemiology. They actually love students that, again, don't just want to be a doctor, they're interested in viruses, especially after COVID, they're interested in public health and epidemiology, even as I always mention, uh, for those of you listening in high school, liberal arts colleges, Swarthmore, even Williams College, they're all, they all look for students of interest in public health and epidemiology if you want to major in pre-med, because they appreciate students that want to bridge science with social impact. Again, going back, for those of you applying to medical school and college, when you write your essay, you can uh, definitely write about epidemiology and talk about in your interviews because this will signal to medical schools that you're that you're ready to tackle complex healthcare challenges, that you really want to learn more. You'll be the kind of student that can lead others to think about public health, uh, and you could be a forefront. That will medical schools want to graduate students who represent them well, that take a that take a interest in public health and improving the world. Okay, so you can. Public health in general, we're talking about epidemiology here again, in general, and you're applying to medical school, showing an interest in public health is amazing. Uh, especially now, there's been a lot of uh, political turmoil with, with funding being cut uh, to different organizations around the world that, that uh, implement public health. Public health is also a diplomatic and political issue because it's a way for the United States, especially to practice soft power and soft diplomacy by with, by taking care of and aiding other health issues in other countries, that improves the United States image around the world, creates a positive perception of the United States. So understanding how uh, public health and public health initiatives by the United States and other countries even affects international relations can be a boon to your application also. 
so it is, again, the, the greatest applicants to medical school do no, these days do not present themselves as operating in a medical bubble. They understand these days to be an effective physician, an effective member of the medical field. You really have to be, have a good, strong understanding of technology, artificial intelligence, and the way medicine intersects with these fields. If you are in college, you should be reading the New York Times health section each day or any other prominent journals, other prominent journals that keep up with public health trends, keep up with epidemiology and, and what scientists are learning about viruses and how viruses are spreading all the time. If you are a college student listening to this, one of my college students uh, recently told me he was interested in medical school, but he's gotten so interested in viruses and epidemiology recently, he wants to possibly go get his master's in public health and uh, possibly go get his PhD and be involved in epidemiology for the rest of his life and work as a scientist in labs. So for those of you interested in this topic in college or high school, if you're interested less in the physician, uh, in the one-on-one -on -one relationship, Epidemiology is a great direction for you to go in if you really have a passion for and are interested in viruses, how they spread, and more importantly, studying them to help prevent catastrophe, to prevent worldwide uh, disease, prevent worldwide hunger uh, in so many ways. So this is uh, such an important part of uh, understanding how the world is so interrelated and a great field for all of you interested in medicine to learn more about epidemiology. Okay. Again, applying to medical school, talk about this in your essays, talk about public health, talk about the way you really want to be and on the forefront of public health and social change and improving public health and improving knowledge about public health how, and, 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 and producing knowledge through laboratory research uh, and other ways for the world to use to improve public health and work both at a local level, uh, national level, and international level, okay? So I hope that was helpful for all of you applying to medical school, thinking about applying to medical school, getting ready to apply to medical school. Epidemiology, a fantastic and interesting field. I hope if you didn't know much about it today, you learned a little bit about it, and you're inspired to go learn more about it, for those of you asking my staff how you can how your child or you can work with me to apply to medical school or college, you can contact us uh, at, uh, at www.educationinspiration.com. You can look on our website. Uh, there's contact information there. You can leave a comment or contact us through YouTube. I'll be glad to have a consultation with you. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. It was great to be here with all of you. Have a fantastic day.